One word to describe youth ministry is awesome. Fun. 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 Uh, fun. It is fun. <laughs> very, very fun. A lot of fun. Friends. I would describe youth ministry as inviting. My favorite part of youth ministry is the way that Lauren tells stories about how like it relates them to God. You get to hang out while you still get to learn. I really like my small group. I learn new things that I pretty much never knew. Food and drinks. My favorite part of youth ministry is the food and snacks. My favorite thing about the youth ministry program is the free food. <laughs> it's just an all around good environment. It's a fun way to be in God's presence and learn about Him and just have a lot of fun. Originally I started coming to youth nights because I had to, but then I actually did have a lot of fun. I have a lot of friends here, so it was a fun time and I find myself coming back. I come here, well, mostly because Lauren and Dante are here and I get to be in God's presence, which is always a huge bonus. It's a lot of fun and I can make new friends. Everybody is sharing at different times. It's more of a discussion than just a lecture. My leader's pretty cool. I could talk to them and they won't judge me. One thing that I learned about God since coming to youth ministry is that he's just always with you and he's always helping you through your daily life. I just have to be me and he'll love me anyway. To see these kids come together on Sunday night and grow in their friendships and camaraderie has just been incredible. It's been really cool to see the kids just grow in their own Catholic identity as they learn more about um, their faith and what we believe. Um, it's also been really cool to see kids from our community um, connect, kids from different schools and different friend groups who um, just have this unique unified bond here at St. Pat's. Youth ministry in, in, in any parish is one of those vital components that's uh, kind of indicative of the life of the parish. And here at St. Patrick, uh, with our youth ministry team, we have a, a group of people who are very committed to our young people, uh, to helping them uh, navigate uh, just the, the, the crazy life that is our, our young people's lives these days, uh, but to do that uh, with the heart of Jesus. The Catechism of the Catholic Church tells us that when it comes to the formation of our young people, we should strive to awaken a sense of belonging to the universal church, the church of Jesus Christ, and most importantly, to our parish community. Over the past year, our youth ministry team has strived to do just that, uh, create a sense of belonging uh, for our students, an environment that would allow them to enter into deeper relationship with Jesus. So young people, when they, they have somebody in their life, in addition to their parents, parents who loves Christ and shares that love with them, they're more uh, inclined to not only experience that love, but to desire that love throughout their adult life, uh, to stay with Christ and to stay with this beautiful church that he's given to us. Through weekly youth nights that focus on small groups and faith sharing, through retreats, through summer camp, through Catholic conferences and various forms of outreach, over this past year we have been able to reach over 500 6th through 12th grade students. We've made great strides in this first year of youth ministry, uh, but we believe that our best days are still ahead. We have so much planned for this next year of ministry. We want to increase our adult leader team by at least 12 members. We plan on increasing the amount of students that we can take to summer camp by at least 25%. We plan to double the amount of summer programming that we offer to our young people. And we want to grow both spiritually and in number the weekly nights that we offer to our middle school and high school students. But that's just the beginning. Uh, there we have so many more things in store uh, for our students here at St. Patrick Parish, uh, but we cannot do it alone. Almost all of what we offer to our students throughout the year is made possible by this one fundraiser. So we need your help to offer the best of the best for our young people. And this is how it's going to work. Uh, we're going to have members of our youth ministry staff at the back of the church after each Mass uh, with a board full of envelopes numbered 1 through 300. This year we've put up 300 envelopes at each campus because we're committed as a ministry to reach at least 100 new students over the year while also investing in and helping form the students that are already a part of our St. Pat's Youth family. If you would like to support our youth ministry program then you can select an envelope and whatever number is on the front of the envelope is the dollar amount that you're pledging to invest in the future of our young people. Once you selected the envelope, you can fill it with either cash or a check made out to St. Patrick Parish, and you can drop it off at our parish office or in the collection basket next time you're at Mass. Now, if you're not going to be able to make it to the Masses over the next two weeks, we are going to post a link at the end of this video that will take you to our online donation option. Thank you so much for all of your generosity and support that you've given our program and our ministry throughout the past year. 
Um, it's been amazing to see and we really look forward to seeing what the next year holds. It is because of the continued investment and generosity of this parish community that we are able to help our young people grow closer and closer to our Lord. So thank you for your generosity and for your continued support.